<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Depraved Slasher here, and we are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are Hella Depraved. And this is her pick, so she's going to do her thing. Again, we have Within Temptation. Unfortunately, the last one that we did with Tarja, um, the desktop audio wasn't on, so you can hear us talking just fine. You just can't hear the music. So either we will edit and snip it in later or re-record it probably I to don't be honest know. because in order to do all the editing it we're talking about pain. two to three hours of editing at least just to try and match video. up the the music so which is unfortunate because it does mean that while we had a great conversation the first time the second time won't be exactly a reaction from him but more of a second time review um which sucks but having said that x is a rapper that we know very well that also is multi-talented x yeah he's done features with quite a bit of other artists other genres most of you will actually (laughs) probably know exhibit more from pimp my ride on mtv because he became more popular for that towards the end of his career right and i put career in quotes because he's actually rapping now right so he's kind of not out of his career entirely certainly not as blown up as he was back when we grew up exhibit exhibit rap wise was very big within the eminem circle of rappers and i say that because m and x did quite a bit together toured together i'm pretty sure x was on the up and smoke tour when they did that when it was uh it was like dre snoop m exhibit and a few others um so yeah x is in that click yeah was but um yeah he's on a track with within temptation and again they're one of my favorite symphonic metal bands call it what you want to call it (laughs) i'm a fucking alcoholic and this will be the third time that you've heard him and yes her voice is always to die for i am actually probably most interested in this track over all the others again i am a hip-hop fan but i'm more interested in seeing how exhibit sounds within everyone was was surprised at how well it meshes and i i will tell you that that much like i heard that he was going to be on it i was kind of excited because again i did listen to him growing up and i i really liked him well, and then I was like, I think he can pull it off. And then I listened and I was like, and he pulled it off. Overrated was the word I was looking for in the last video. Yeah. You're um, welcome. And I say that because I feel like Exhibit is the most underrated West Coast hip hop artist out there. Um, growing up, I loved Exhibit. Oh, me too. I had like two or three of his albums listened to regularly. I had friends that I, I didn't own that many albums. I own a lot now, but didn't then. But, like, I was I was pretty big into Exhibit, but whenever I would try to talk to people about hip-hop, nobody brought up Exhibit's name. I was always the one that brought it up. Now, again, I live in Indiana, so and he I was probably way California. more known yeah, on the West Coast. Er, pretty much everyone, at um, least in the people that I hung out with. Because I actually have the same issue with Jadakus, where okay. here in Indy, nobody talks about Jadakus. And for me, he was like one of my favorite He's, rappers growing up. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it, it it is a thing, but um, I enjoyed them on this track together. It was kind of like childhood meets, and I've followed Within Temptation for a, a decade at least, but still new meeting old at the time. So this is, I think, from their Hydra album again, which is the same one that Tarya was on. Um, and I just, I really like that they displayed that they're multifaceted. They, they've gone through a whole bunch of reincarnations along the way. So you know that they're good at all these different kind of, uh, subgenres within symphonic metal. They, they, they're kind of like gothic metal Because that's what they needed. Everything. More subgenres for the subgenre they were already <laughs> in. But then they, they did features like this and right. very enjoyable, so... I'm excited. Get into it. Me too. Stop it. 
All right. Uh, stop what? I am excited. <laughs> it was the high pitched voice. Yee. <laughs> um. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to react to this as if you have already seen it. If you have not seen it, please click the link in the description below. Go watch it. Like, sub, come back, and then watch the reaction because we will probably, especially since exhibits in it, maybe. Well, we'll be pausing it more than you would like, which means we're not going to do a straight through watch. Right. And we will be talking about the video, the song, and yeah. Any relevant metaphors, whatever. Music video, yes. so on and so forth. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to slash it up and break it down. This is Within Temptation featuring Exhibit, and it's called And We Run. And I ran. <laughs> it's ran so, so much far better than that song. Away. So much better. Sorry. But that's what I think of when I Yeah, hear no, I know. And I thought that <laughs> it does pass my mind every now and then. But now now this song is firmly implanted and it's so much better. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Anything's better. That's one of those like annoyingly <laughs> catchy songs. All right, let's get it. Let freedom ring. The sun shall never set on so, on so glorious a human achievement. Nelson Mandela. X. Baldex. Is she his avatar? <laughs> <clears throat> that would be amazing. I don't think that's... Because <laughs> I'm telling you now... He looks if, like he's plugged into it, like a computer if, system. If that's me and she's my avatar, I'm sitting here like this. I, most and most men would feel the same way. Dude, see, I couldn't be a woman. I'd literally be laying in bed all day just playing with my boobs. Honestly, you'd get bored. <clears throat> you, you, if you were a woman, is what you're saying. If you were a woman, you would get bored. They're, they're kind of cool the first month. I'm sorry, out, his but... divulge to this guy is that's my... Mm. Both of us. Seriously. <laughs> he started it. <laughs> or are they like a representation of angels rejuvenating him? I think you need to get further in. Again, it's the kind of like post-apocalyptic world. That the well, last I'm ones pretty sure in. they live in the future at this point. Yeah, I don't know. Can't remember. Okay, I think I know what's going on. For real this time. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's hear the theory. Okay. Judging from the lyrics. Now, I don't know if technically when writing the song she was thinking of exhibit for this. But I think it's her talking about people not really being free. Um and being held back. And I think video-wise, this is a representation of him breaking away from the confines that is society. And I don't know if you noticed, but they have um, plugs on their arms very much like The Matrix, the right. movie. And I think it, the representation kind of came from that concept that the societal pressures or confines or whatever are, are sucking the color and life literally out of his character in here, the hummingbird that came in, but 
yeah, it, it is that sort of like, we, we've got all of this weighing down on us and we're never really free. So we, we run to try and achieve that. Like you've got to break free of that. And I ran. No, stop it. <laughs> Dude, I've got cold chills. I, I've had chills since she hit the chorus. Like, <laughs> first of all, her voice is angelic. And she has pipes to take it from a powerful almost belt to this almost dip that she does to, to hit the high notes in this. And the sweet angelic notes that she hits high up. And then they hit the harder chords and he comes in and he's flawless he is riding that beat and right. like just this is going to sound like a small thing to be happy for i'm glad the band didn't try and censor him oh yeah because now this is just in the time i grew up in anytime any sort of collab like this would happen the artist the, the band would go to the artist and be like hey don't cuss right don't, and and he's just like every motherfucking and i'm just like all I'm right let's get every it. motherfucking thing i do yeah it, <laughs> don't do it i don't like censorship people they Let do people so be much they better well yeah they do so much better when they can write the way that they think right I, my, my writing would be bleeped out in every country so there is that but he sounds amazing again and, and the message is spectacular too but just the blend of her angel-like voice with that gruff tone that X always has just works so well because they, they hit so, a harder line for him. Lyrically, I don't understand <laughs> what he's saying at the point in the beginning when he's like, I don't know if he's saying hold your hand up or hold your head up. Head. Is it head? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure it's head because he... I mean, it's, it's appropriate either way. Yeah, he does go on but... to reference the, the crown and nobody else can wear it. Um... But I'm pretty sure it's head. Guys, like, I have only seen this music video once. I have never looked up the backstory on the writing of the lyrics or the music video. And while the song's on my playlist, you know, I love them. But I didn't look it up because this is his first reaction. And I felt it was only appropriate that I come into this not being 100% accurate. So... Explain in the comments if we're wrong. Huh. Time for tears, celebrate, put it in the air right now. Never back down. You can never wear my crown because they're way too much. And I crush every motherfucking thing I touch. This is love I never love so much. Get involved, make the world stand up. Get my life before I ever give up. Naming lights, you lost all my trust. Now it's time to face all the fuss. Get in line, you're calling us. And it feels so marvelous. Just take my head and run. Mmm. I love the visual representation of her standing there, arms behind her back, right. just letting him go. Yep. Um, Let him go free. And the message, for sure. I, I get goosebumps it's... with this song. Especially Woo. talking about, like, not just freeing yourself, but, like, stand up and start the change. It's, you know, it's, it's not a selfish song at all, either. Mm -hmm. it, it starts with, like, w I need to do this, but the, the whole, and we run, and then him coming in and saying, you know, you got to make a change somewhere. Yeah. One of my favorite quotes of all time is, be the change, be the change you want to see in others. Yep. And it's very true. You can't change anything if you don't start with yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I fucking loved it. It's an amazing track. It's my new favorite with In Temptation song. <laughs> I I love Angels. I love that one. But this is probably second. Yeah. I just I really like the the message and I <laughs> I love hearing him on it. Right. It's I'm just looking at it like, I mean, you too. know why it's my favorite. Yeah, it's, but it's <laughs> nostalgia, too. And again, that's part of it for How you. How old is this like, song? Oh, at least five. I think five years. Fourteen. So six years old. Okay. So I was only off a little bit. I was just curious because... God damn it doesn't seem like Exhibit Ages. No, he really doesn't. Because we reacted to a song he was recently on with Locksmith, mm -hmm. and he looks the exact same. Yeah. yeah. He's staying strong. <laughs> Exhibit, man, I need a new album. Not that you're ever going to watch this. Right. Wow. <laughs> one, can, one can hope. Or, just ever, just, that or ever just bend to my hopes and dreams. Mm, oh, he right. needs an album? Let's work on Let's that. Let's work on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that would be I would love fantastic. Album, yeah, that would be fantastic. Uh, no, nah, it, was, it was a great song. I love the message behind it. And again, it's one of those songs I feel like even video-wise could have so many different meanings if you oh, really yeah. take the time to think about it. Because I was even thinking about it being all mental, too. Um, prison of your mind. Breaking being in out. a prison of your mind and breaking out. Right. And letting, letting some color into your life. Right. I, I think that is part of it, though. I mean, societal pressure and confirmation right. and all of that does start with a change in your mind and breaking well, out of it. So, And what also made me think of that, too, though, was, again, in the beginning in the lyrics, she's like, you've never been loved. Right. Um, and so much of what she said can mentally weigh you down and have you feeling down. Depression. And getting yeah. depressed and things like that. And... Him being like, it's time to run, you know. Right. We've got to move on. Stand up. Lift your head up. Let's go. Right. Um, just trying to give you We're that motivation <laughs> to yes. get out of it. Get out of your It's funk. a very motivational song. Right. Like, even with, it, like, there's deeper messages, sure, but, like, the base message of it, it, it's just a very motivational song. For a while, I had this on, you know, a track for going to the physical therapist. Because I hated going, but I listened to it on the way over and listened to it while I was there when I wasn't listening to the PT. I do that. It's and the physical therapist. And yeah, it's, it is a inspirational and motivational song. Yeah. With, especially with him in mid track. Yeah. Right. So glad you loved it. But yes. All right, guys, that is going to do it. If you like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below, what did you think of Within Temptation featuring Exhibit and We Run? 
Also comment down below if there's anything else <laughs> you guys want to see reacted to. Check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons. Join us on other platforms, mostly Twitter. We are on Instagram. Instagram? Instagram. You probably won't get much of a reply. That's your antenna. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I just don't want to be the ant and honey, I shrunk the kids that dies. You, you want to be the ant man with the suit. Auntie. But um, who we are on Twitter a fair amount. Did you see the post I posted earlier? About? Somebody said, what is the most tragic death in a movie and i put our tags in the swamp of sadness i parted it and i feel like there should be like a sad button because you are correct <laughs> but i didn't want to like heart it because i was like that is the is most sad moment in a movie never ending story it rank well for me it ranks right up there with mufasa, mufasa. yeah yeah anyway sorry we love you guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this reaction jump on over to these guys and hit the like button at least sub to them doesn't hurt you definitely benefits them yes we love y'all thank you all for watching we cannot wait to see depraved people later peace <laughs> night guys